Well, hello everyone. It's not quite early morning like normal, but uh, I was kind of busy this morning. wasn't able to get right on getting things taken care of for devotion this morning with y'all. But uh, I'm here. I am drinking some coffee and, and I'm enjoying the, the, what's left of the morning. Yesterday morning I talked to you from Psalms 27 and I said, I don't think I'll get all this finished. And and really, I got to look and thinking, I might take a little bit of this every day for the next few days, but I look at Psalms 27, verse 2, and it says, When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. And though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire of his temple. I see some promises from God, and, and it's not where I'm going to finish yet, but I see some promises from God that's here. And these promises tell us that there are a lot of things that might come against us in our life. There might be a lot of people, there might be a lot of uh, diseases, there might be a lot of, of sicknesses, there might be loss of wages, loss of job, loss of things that might come against you. But David said, in all of that turmoil, in all of that trouble, I will not fear. Because I desire this one thing, Lord, I want to be with you. I want to be in relationship with you. I want to have a daily communication with you. I want to spend time in your house. And, and I believe here, that we're not talking about just a location as we would think of a church building today, but to be in the presence of God. Because when I look at the next verse, verse 5, and this is where I'm going to wrap up today at, but when I look at verse 5, it says, For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. And as I thought about that little verse right there, I thought about when we're in trouble, this word pavilion here literally is a place that was set aside. It was a, a the word means bows or woven together. It was a place like a, that God was dwelling in. And it said that, Lord, when I'm in trouble, I'm looking for you to put me in this place, in the secret of your tabernacle. In this particular verse right here, it's not like a building like we're thinking about, but it's like an inner chamber or, or a place that's really in depth in the, in, with the Lord. It's a place that you can go and be in a secret place with him. And here's what stood out to me in this verse as I'm, I'm, I'm finished here, but here's what stood out to me. It said, Lord, when I'm in trouble, take me into this secret place. But a verse ends, and he shall set me upon a rock. And here's what I thought that applies to us today, if I could make this application. Many of us are in lockdown today. Many of us are in our homes. We're not getting out. A little disappointed because we're sneaking up on Easter here in a few days. And for me as a pastor and as a church uh, attender for all of my life, this one thing is Easter. I love Easter. I love the fact that Jesus Christ rose from the dead. But David said, sometimes we have to go into hiding before we can come out on top of the rock. I want to let you know today, you might be disappointed because you're having to be locked down, sheltered in place, away from everybody and everything. But there is coming a moment in your life that's just ahead of you that the Lord's going to take you out of that place and He is going to establish you in a place that is solid, it's rock solid underneath you and that you will rise above all the things that have afflicted you up to this point. Y'all have a wonderful day. I love every one of you. Take time to share this. If it meant something to you today, share it with your friends. Share it with your, your list of people that's in your uh, contacts. Let them be blessed and know that even though they might be in lockdown today, God will take and raise them up if they'll spend that time with him. We love you and appreciate you. Have a wonderful day.